In this video I'm going to explain your networking ports and IP addresses comparing them to real world scenarios. As everything in computer networking is very similar to real life scenarios. Imagine, you are in your apartment building in your apartment. And you are planning to visit a friend who lives across the city and he is waiting for you in his apartment building in his apartment. To make it simple, your apartment number is like a port number in networking. The apartment building's street address number is like an IP address. Just like your apartment number tells someone exactly which unit you live in inside the building, a port number in networking tells your device exactly which service or app should receive the message. The street address or IP address shows the general location like which building and the apartment number port specifies the exact spot where the message need to be delivered. For example, if you are in apartment 5 of 3624 Naples Street and want to visit your friend in apartment 2052 of 107 Oak Avenue. Your apartment and street address 5 at 3625 Naples Street would be like your device's port number and IP address. Your friend's apartment and street address 2052 at 107 Oak Avenue is like their port number and IP address, where apartment number is like a port number and the house number is like IP address in both scenarios, for your friend and for you. Now let's imagine the journey to your friend. Friend. Now let's say you are ready to leave your apartment in your apartment block. You step outside your apartment and take a bus. Maybe switch to a tram or any other transportation and finally walk to your friend's place. The journey from your home to theirs is like how data travels across the internet. The bus tram roads you take to get there represents the different layers of the OSI model in networking. When you first step out and get on a bus, it's like data leaving your device as a physical layer. As you move through the city and change transport models, your journey gets more structured like how data passes through various network layers like the data link and network layers. As it travels through routers, switches and cables. Finally, when you get off the tram and walk directly to the building, you are reaching your destination at the application layer, the final step in delivering the message. Now, imagine when you arrive at your friend's building, 107 Oak Avenue, you need to press the correct doorbell to get in. The doorbell is like a port number of their apartment. Pressing the wrong doorbell, using the wrong port number, could leave you to a different person or no one at all as maybe there are no apartments or ports with your pressed number. Each doorbell is linked to a different apartment just like each port number is linked to a specific service or application running on the server. For example apartment 107's doorbell your friend's place could be compared to a port 80 on networking which is often used for websites HTTP or hypertext transfer protocol or apartment 6 doorbell might be like a port 443, which is used for secure websites HTTPS. In short, IP addresses are like street addresses or house numbers, showing where a device is located, while port numbers are like apartment numbers, specifying exactly which service or app on that device should receive the data. The journey data takes across the internet, moving through different layers, is like the various roads and transport you take to reach your destination. These layers represent the OSI model in networking.